feel free to explore and to imagine your own like design, what kind of colors you want to work with. And, and yes, you heard her right. We got to look through all of the different design samples and design our own Electrolux washer. CMF designer, color material finish designers. We look at the sample, what's our core consumers, and what's the price tiers, is it premium or lower tier, what's the purpose of this design, and then we will like consider like what's the color scheme and what's the best materials and finishes for this design. We look a lot about uh, on the trends, like what's upcoming, what's a macro trend, what's the fast moving fad, like we look at both. And so these are the trend books for your reference. Finishes, sometimes we can have these really rough finishes. And when you touch it, it really gives you different tactility. And sometimes you can have this kind of really smooth tactility. And sometimes it leaves more fingerprints and sometimes it gives you more durability. So it really depends on like, uh, what kind of design you try to deliver, who's your target audience. We are now looking a lot into recycled materials because we want to, you know, as a company, we want to be more environmentally friendly. So, uh, but that's hard, that's not easy, but definitely we have some parts in our units that's already using recycled plastic, like the Vestal interior liners and also the interior parts, but we're uh, investigating the outer parts to be recycled materials as well. Feel free to explore and to imagine your own like design, what kind of colors you want to work with. And... and yes, you heard her right. We got to look through all of the different design samples and design our own Electrolux washer. These were the materials I chose, and this is what I came up with. And although I'm not allowed to show you the mock-up they emailed me later because it has the phrase for internal use only in giant intimidating text, let's just say that the yellow zinc didn't turn out exactly as I thought it would. But hey, that's why I'm not a designer. I will leave the designing up to the pros. We call this light booth. And also showed us the design light booth and we got to challenge our color differentiating capabilities. Industry standard, when we check out colors, when we check the samples, trying to see if it matches our target, we check under our uh, light booth. When you want to explore your color sites, you can come here and we have four different hues. So what you have to do, I will mix each row for you one at a time. And you just need to put them in order, start from finish. So these these two are fixed. So you see from green to purple, and you just need to sort it them out by the hue. And then I will input your result in the software that I have there, and it will give you some analysis of your color accuracy. And let me tell you, I was stoked for this activity. Because if you didn't already know, outside of appliances, I am now and have always been an artist. And despite the fact that I tend to wear a lot of black in my everyday life, I love color. So much so, in fact, that I have games downloaded on my phone where you do exactly this. Get from one color to another by sorting all the colors in between by hue. I do this for fun. I will say, doing this in person is definitely a bit more challenging than playing it as a game on my phone, and yes, I probably took it a little too seriously and took more time on it than I needed to. But I really enjoyed it. As for the analysis of my color site that N input into the computer, here were my results along with N's assessment of what it all meant. Eh, not too bad. 